and Charlie Murray, welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 17. Got a message from a Vance Gerlint. I, I thought it was a bit of a funny message. You lying scum! Just saw where the Galactic Finance Guild gave you credit for tracking down Noctrain's lost fortune. Basically, this one right here. Uh, you're not even a professional treasure hunter! I've put years into searching for that payday, and I'll be rolled in Bantha Poodoo before I believe some no-talent freighter jockey beat me to the prize! I don't know who paid who you paid off at the GFG to discourage the rest of us from keeping up the search, but you haven't fooled me. I won't stop looking until I find the real fortune. Drop dead. How dare you? Corsair, hi. I gotta ask you, Captain. Why are you doing this? Before Dodonna, you have had no ties to the Republic. There's gotta be places you can make credits without taking Imperial fire. So why do we keep heading straight into the war zones? I thought you were the one who's all rah-rah Republic. I guess I am. I just wasn't sure about you. Eh. When I came home from the brigade with Torchy, my old man told me something that's always stuck with me. The minute you fire a weapon, someone's getting hurt. It's your responsibility to make sure the good you do with it outweighs that harm. When a firefight goes down, who's got time to do that much thinking? I try to. Before Skavik took Torchy, I made sure she only fired against Separatists. Figured everyone I took down was one less family murdered. Sergeant Boom Boom, I like to use against the Empire. Buy a Republic world another day of peace. Makes pulling the trigger that much more meaningful, you know? But then you could also look at it the other way. For every Separatist you take down, that's a family destroyed. Eh? Ah, you've pretty much destroyed a husband or... I say, I'd say a wife, but if a Separatist had a blaster to your head and you had a gun in your hand, I think you'd rather shoot yourself, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> Whoa, I just got dark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't believe I said that. Uh, Bowder! <laughs> It is still a gift to say no. Sometimes I forget. I think I'm a slave. <laughs> then it's like the rising sun. The sun rising even. Same thing. What was it like? Slavery is the worst kind of suffering. You can die nobly and be happy. Slavery destroys all that is good. I would die before I am a slave again. Good for you. Good for you, Balda. Good for you. Uh, does Risha need to speak to me as well, or is that just being is that just HK or Treak? Uh, oh, Risha's here now. Oh, you've moved. Okay. Thanks for letting me stay on with your crew, Captain. I plan to be a very generous queen to all my friends. You could be generous right now. Move into my quarters. They're cozy. A man who describes his quarters as cozy really means he leaves dirty clothes on the floor. <laughs> Every captain needs a good first mate. Corso doesn't know what it takes to run a starship, but I do. Considering the light years you've been racking up, I suggest a hyperdrive overhaul and a sublight engine tune-up. Which do you want first? We're always in a hurry. See if you can squeeze some extra thrust from the engines. Consider it done. I'll be indispensable before you know it. The only problem I don't like with the in the blind playthrough is that I really don't know if I'm pressing the right ones for the flirt. Because Risha, is, I, I want Risha to be like my 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 romance. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got one of the flirting options. I'm always generally on two anyway, but every now and then it can be on something else. And I kind of don't want to just keep pressing two for Risha. Um, I pretty much did in that conversation. I kind of just want to mix it up a little bit, because... Yeah. Um, right, use your ship's holo terminal. No, I'm going to wait here, and then let it do it automatically. Oh, wait, I'm in my... Oh, I can see the I can see the clouds. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So it does work for me here. Oh. Okay, then. Just wanted to come out of the cutscene to say that. Captain, who Captain. Would have thought when we met on Coruscant that I'd be calling you today with a formal Republic briefing. Senator Dodonna is eager to see how you handle your first mission. Elmora was once the Republic's main supplier of everything military. Until the Empire moved in and the Senate voted to turn tail and run. 
which left the Empire holding everything the Republic had commissioned for Project Nebula. What's Project Nebula? <laughs> it's supposed to be the Republic's answer Sarcasm. to Imperial aggression. Top-of-the-line prototype capital ships, iron cannons, cluster missiles, and a few experimental goodies. Oh, now the Empire is sending their complete Nebula munitions shipments to their front lines. The Republic's got no chance. What makes you think I can help? Because sneaking into protective facilities and boosting their cargo isn't part of Republic trooper training. I don't sneak! Senator Dodonna wants you to work with the Balmoran Resistance. They can help you track down the Nebula shipment, then find a way to divert it to Palliser Station, a Republic base near Corellia. You're giving me this job because you're thinking that I can sneak into places? Are you nuts? It's been a while since I broke a sweat. Might be fun. Then let me add a little spice. Once you've got the Nebula shipment, can the Republic really make you hand it over? A smart operator might sell the prototypes back to them piece by piece. <laughs> Not that I'm the one who told you. Now, your contact on the ground is one of the rebels, Newman Brock. Check in with him when you land in Bugtown. Heads off if you can do this thing, Captain. Are you basically saying to me that if I find all of this that you want me to get, then not to give it to you, not to give it to the Republic, and just try and sell it back to them. I'm already a millionaire for crying out well. I'm not, but story-wise, I'm a millionaire. Come on now, why would I want to sell it back? Well, <laughs> how low is a greedy but how 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 low? How low is a bit is a greedy bugger is what I was trying to say. I just found it very peculiar the way I'm doing it again. I just found it very peculiar the way I said how low how low. Rather than Harrow. And of course, with my Sith Inquisitor being on Taris, it means that my Republic character is on the opposite. Which will be. Balmora! Hello, Balmora! I need to get a screenshot so I can get the, um, the thumbnail sorted. Um, do I screenshot this? This isn't really a great place to screenshot, and of course, it's kind of in the way. D do you mind? Do you mind? Can you can you get off, please? Um, should I screenshot that? Uh, nah, we'll find somewhere better. I love how I'm turning these episodes into missions to find a, a good screenshot for my thumbnail. Ooh, I got some new abilities. Let's get the job. Ooh, rank nice three. Get the pay. Uh, project to advance the field around yourself, which absorbs moderate. Okay, I probably should use that more often when I start using it, but I probably won't. Uh, and that's that. Stranger. I need to speak to you, Sixer. Greetings, Captain. I am C6RR, a Class 6 protocol droid in the service of Newman Brock. My master most often refers to me as Sixer. I believe he sees it as an affectionate nickname. Oh, that's cute. So rare to meet a man who really loves his droid. Indeed. Many people actually take protocol droids for granted. I did. It's as if our feelings don't... Oh, was that sarcasm? My non-literal context analysis function is... Uh, I'll get the master. Master Newman! Master Newman, the uh, visitor you were expecting has arrived. So, what brings you to Balmora, Captain? Other than the Fat Republic payoff? They're so busy hiding behind treaties, they're handing out credits like candy. I mean, folks like you and me can make a killing. How's the situation look on the ground? The Republic left us the minute the Void Wolf's fleet started firing. The Empire's pretty entrenched by now. I should warn you, Captain. Many find the Republic's abandonment a bit of a sore spot. Though Republic intel did point us to the Nebula shipment, came through an SIS double agent. Codename, Golden. Give me all the details. Golden's how we learned the Imperials are planning to ship the Nebula munitions to their front lines. Naturally, communication is risky, so it's codes, dead drops, no face-to-face -face contact. We've got a payment due. In return, he says he's got a location for the Nebula shipment. I need you to make the drop-off. I get the feeling that this is a lot more complicated than you make it sound. I don't know. That sounded pretty complicated to me. Oh, why have I got you out? The last agent we sent never came back. The Imperials held a public execution. So you'll need to hit a series of decoy dead drops to flesh out any tales before you go to the Okara Droid Factory for the real deal. Ah, uh, I hate the Droid Factory. Walk me through things one more time. We don't want the Imperials tracking you to the real site, so you'll need to leave false packages at different decoy locations first. Oh, and the probe droids, Master Newman. Don't forget the probe droids. Right. If you see a probe droid, take it down before it can transmit, or you'll have half a division on you. 
Eh. Once you find the drop in the Okara droid factory, leave the payment and pick up the data file Golden left. Uh, okay. Uh, bye, Corso. You can pee off and hello, Risha. Ready when you are. Ah. Next time we're someplace we won't get shot. Let's talk. Oh, we won't get shot in here, surely. Let's let's talk now. Next time we're someplace we won't get shot. Ugh. Let's talk. Okay. Fine. Deliver the decoy packages. Well, that's gonna go down so well. This is gonna be so easy. Oh, actually, this is a cantina. We're not gonna get shot here. Hey, Risha. Bet you were surprised to see I can hold my own in a fight. I'm pretty good with a blaster. My father taught me to shoot when I was four years old. Just gonna point out. Has your voice slightly changed since the last episode? Before you were my companion, you were just, you were just all, yes, well, uh, let's uh, be all important and mysterious. And now you're, yeah, my father taught me to shoot when I was four years old. You robbed me of my big chance. Teaching a girl to shoot can be romantic, if you do it right. And very messy if you don't. Maybe he spared you a visit to the med center. Oh. Father wanted to be self-sufficient as early as possible. Said I'd need it to survive. He was right. I still remember the day he told me he was going to sleep for a while. Said I was on my own. Nock was in that carbonite for a decade. Weren't you still counting birthdays on one hand? I was 11. Made my first solo hyperspace jump and flew to Dantooine. Father had a hideout there. Talk about your one band of planets. For a few years, Dantooine's population was doubled thanks to me and Father frozen in carbonite. You talk a lot about Nock. But you've never mentioned your mother. She died when I was young. I don't remember her. Looking back, I should have been miserable. But it was just a big adventure. Speaking of which, we're overdue for some more excitement. What do you say we get back to our latest caper? Alrighty, as long as I get that experience. Oh, we're very close to level 36. How exciting. Do I go this way out? Yeah, for some reason, I, I just... I kind of wish that was the way out. It just looks a bit empty. Put something there, like a security terminal. I don't know. One of these guys. Ooh, hello. Here's what I got. Look quick if you want. Gonna sell all this. Don't need that. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Should we give Corso a new <laughs> customization? Uh, do I want to make him look ugly? Um, have no torso. Uh, ugly. Or have no torso. Or kind of. Semi good looking or no torso. Uh, Bring your back anytime. I think I'm gonna. I would, if I were to choose one, I would go for the no, no torso one. Yeah, because that, that's, that's an improvement. Get ready, guys. Get ready for the horrendous lag that always seems to occur when I go through the heroic area. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because of this. Because it does go. Okay. No serious lag so far. Huh. Well then. I'm impressed. You've held you've you've held your own. Usually you just go all <laughs> But not this time. Oh. Look how far I've gotta go. I'm just gonna sit back and uh just wait it out. Starving Zeldrate. Eat some grass, you'll be fine. Then again, if you were starving, would you eat grass? I'd actually like to know, please tell me. Oh, is this what I need? I do! Ah, okay, so we do need to actually kill the droids because they will be a pain! There we go. Lovely. Do I want you to be a healer, Risha? Yeah, why not? Oh, well, but that was easy. Oh, what? Uh, oh, god, I got hiccups. Uh, I was gonna say, hello, Enforcer Droid! Can I kill you and then I can get some uh, scavenging? What kind of protection is this rock? This rock is no protection at all, Harolo. What the f? Anyway, last one. The and is done. filled with morons to let a planet like this go. Oh, is is that it? Oh, I thought you were gonna say more than that. Fine, you uh, do what you want, Risha. And here it is, everybody's favorite place on Balmora. But at least I got to level 36, that's cheered me up a little bit. Can I jump up here 
Yes. And jump up here. And then avoid the droid. La oh, crap. Wow. That's a long way down. I want to fall. It goes nothing. Survive. Oh. I was hoping I was going to survive that. I thought, you know what? Let's see if I would survive. And no. Elevator. Oh, you're coming up now. Lovely. Don't leave any blood marks. Why does every companion break their backs whenever going down an elevator? That does it. Risha does it. Maybe it's just the female companions. They were like, oh, we're flexible. Let's break our backs. I see a Datacron. But I think it's one that I've already got on my uh, Lexi anyway. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, thank you, level 65. You've saved me. Uh, Smuggler Faye. Uh oh. That's gas tanks. Which can only mean one thing. Ooh, that's a lot. What are you making? Uh, hi. Dead drop. Bang! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you people. This is Imperial property. Freeze! Um. In carbonite? Let's not do anything too hasty. Oh, look, boss. I think he's scared. What? Spa, you take point here. Try to take them alive. You didn't say please. <laughs> what? You want to take out the rest of these idiots? We need to talk privately. Oh. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for the help, I guess. Um. Person who I shouldn't know as a companion, but I do know because I was doing research for a top five video and I realized that you're one of the companions. Not that anybody really gives a damn about you, but hey, you're one of the companions nonetheless. It's like whenever I see people talking about companions on like Reddit or on Twitter, nobody ever, ever mentions Spa. Nobody. Nobody. I'll let you take credit here. These aren't bodies I need on my name. Whose body were you looking for? Moff Tyrak. Get me to him, and I'll pay any price you name. Hmm. Twenty million! You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? No. That sounds even more embarrassing when you say it. That's who your delivery is for. Imperial Moff Tyrak, commander of the 63rd Armored Infantry Division. If he's working for the Resistance, I want to know why. You're Mandalorian. Aren't you loyal to the Empire? No. Okay. I am seeking Moff Tyrak for reasons of my own. I will give the Republic all I know of the Empire's plans here as payment for Moff Tyrak. I might be able to help you out for a favor like that. See what you can find out. I'll contact you later. Are you gonna shoot me in the face then? I want one of those. That'd be cool. For now, I'm gonna stay out of sight. I really want that. Return to Sixer. Uh, do I need to go? Oh, I need to go back to Bugtown. And he can explain why I'm giving a package to a moth. How dare you not explain that? Oh, I've not got my buffs up. Get my buffs up, please. As I'm teleporting. <laughs> it's dark and dirty, but not the worst Republic base I've ever visited. Rhodia still holds the title. R Rhodia? Where, where the heck is Rhodia? Is that... I'm guessing that's on the Rodian homeworld, yeah? Guessing. Oh dear, Captain. I cannot say how relieved I am to see you. Aye. Oh, yeah. After you left, Master Newman went to meet with some resistance fighters and oh. he never made it back. Okay. Would have been nice if you told me that a moth was joining the resistance. Is it true the payment was for an Imperial moth? What were... Oh, yes. The double agent. Moth Tyrak, indeed. You seem to be in one piece. So I trust that went well? What? Great and well, yeah. I just intercepted an Imperial data stream. <gasps> a foot patrol caught Master Newman and the others. They're taking them to Camp Vigil. Oh no! Go save them! Is there a reason you're whining to me about it? Well, so you'll rescue him. Isn't that what you people do? I don't know where you got that impression. <laughs> Master Newman has a pair of field disruptors he intended to use to break our people out. If you were to smuggle them to him now, he could stage a massive prison break from inside. 
The Empire will be humiliated. Humiliated, you say? I don't suppose this prison has a convenient back entrance? Laundry service? Offsite catering? Master Newman has cultivated contacts among those camp vigil guards with weaknesses for stims and other restricted imports. If you make his deliveries to the corrupt guards, you should be able to gain access to the camp, if not the prison itself. These guys are probably trying to hide their habits, right? I'll give you IDs on the guards, and we'll hide the field disruptors in your clothes. And you're ready to go. Just head for Sobrick. Camp Vigil is just inside. I believe Private Wick's on duty at the entrance tonight. I'm sure you'll find a way to convince him to let you in. Cool, okay. Um, excuse me, you. Do you, uh, mind not interrupting my cutscene with your flashes of light? Yeah? Thank you. Okay, now we need to head to Sobrig. As you can see, I've just quick traveled in case you're wondering. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Cool. In case you're wondering, you huh? He's here? Thing. But he was just a bug town! Yeah, I quick traveled. Right, we need to... I'm gonna make my way up here. The frame rate is at 24 frames per second. Absolutely delicious. But we're gonna go up here, and then I'm going to try and slide down the mountain and survive. But something tells me that's not gonna happen. But I'm gonna try anyway. Come on, slowly. S slowly. S slowly. And it happened! Wah, 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 wah. You should have put a guard up here! Wah, 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 wah. Obviously, I've got to kill you guys. Because you are in my way. Let me. Let you what? Let you what? Well, you're clearly not a strong Sith apprentice. If you died so easily. Huh. They just drop like flies when I'm around. Don't see me! Ooh, you didn't see me. How exciting. Oh. I was hoping that would last, but uh, it didn't. Uh-oh. I need to kill you guys before the stride gets here. Hurry up, Risha. There we go. Go, 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 go. What earth is going on over here? Stand Why? For examination and suggested products. Why would there be a Republic medical droid for duty. Return to your post. in an Imperial base? That's a little baffling, but I need to speak to you and give you your thing. This is the best part of my week. En enjoy? I, I guess? Ooh! Something I can scavenge. Uh-oh! I've gone the wrong way around! Don't see me! I need... Oh, crap. Oh, God! I'm, I'm actually trapped. I'm actually trapped. Okay. You keep walking that way. <laughs> Can't believe it didn't get seen then. Yeah, and I am going to speak to this corrupt guard and give him his package. Here you go. Keep your head down. Yeah, all right, God. Calm your shiz. Oh, I need to go this way anyway. Ah. Um. Could I do this? Well, that barrier wasn't wasn't <laughs> doesn't help at all. What I was trying to say. I I mess up my words. And you. This is the best part of my week. In enjoy them. Uh, seriously, it's not that exciting. Uh, okay, we've got some Imperial Agents as well. Is one of you named Maladar? Oh, none of you are blue. Never mind. And my smuggler phase. Let me guess, it's gonna be a whole bunch of enemies in my way. Oh You're no. Live. You're right here. Cool. I've got the package you're expecting. What a... Oh! Thank the Emperor. Or someone. I'm almost out. Are you taking over for Newman? I... I saw they got him last night. He really didn't like the de-lousing. You'd better get out of here before they throw you in, too. Not to confuse you, but that's kind of our goal. Newman's gonna save himself by giving up his buyers. You gotta let me in so I can keep him quiet. Oh, no! They'll kill me if they find out I'm getting stims from the Resistance. Half our unit will be executed. I just told you how to fix it. You don't have to get snippy about it. Okay, just make sure he didn't tell anyone, okay? My dad thinks I'm doing really good with this job. God, you just sound common British. 
hide. When you finished? Oh. If I get in there and alarms start blaring, I'm coming after you. I won't say a word, I swear. Just don't hurt me. Just, just don't hurt me. My dad says, blah de blah de blah. You're just common British, aren't you? Oh God. Of course, there'll be a whole bunch. Ah, uh, let's drop this down because this does a lot of damage, and it's a bonus mission. I couldn't care less this time, but I'm probably going to end up doing it anyway, accidentally. I mean, just look at all these droids that are in my way. Yep, yeah, I'm going to have to do it. Most likely. La 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 la. I was still see. I'm now going to do this and freeze everybody in place. Ah, we only had six more to kill before we got there. Keep your head down. Security's tight inside the camp. Are you stalking me? If I were stalking you, you'd be dead. Okay. I've scouted Fair the enough. cells here. Security uses a two-man guard team as precaution against corruption. Neither one of us will be able to get in alone. Great. Tell me the plan, I'll see how I can ruin it. Ha! Every patrol has an access code for one of two terminals needed to enter the prison. You take out the patrols here and get their code. I'll get the other and meet you at the terminal. Uh, right, obtain the door security code from you over there. Uh, can I skip past everybody? I can! Oh, but I need to kill you guys anyway. Alright, that's 18, then I'll be killing you. Don't mind me, I'm going to use her at the moment. I might as well use this as well, because I haven't used it yet. Might as well use it once this episode. Uh, why am I doing this when I'm nowhere near you? Well done, Charlie. Fantastic work. There you go, and... Might as well kill one more. One more. Uh, and it's going to have to be you guys, because I stupidly didn't go for that one over there. Okay, see, told you I was probably going to have to do it anyway. Okay, we're done. I have the codes. Now we need to enter them simultaneously into both terminals. When we're in, meet me at cell 665. My clan brother is there. Help me free him, and I'll assist you with whatever you need. If this comes back to haunt me, you're gonna pay. For now, we are partners. I will not break that trust. Okay. Why did the door need to open then shut? Then open again. Why couldn't it just stay open? Oh! Thanks, you, you killed everybody. Thank you very much, you saved me a bunch of time. Oh, look at you just casually walking. Oh, there's a whole bunch of enemies down there. Better hope I don't fall down. Who are you, old man? What happened to the Mandalorian who was supposed to be in this cell? What? He was executed this morning. Uh-oh. Executed? Oh, Mandalorian on the warpath. <laughs> you do what you need to. I owe you that much. But anyone you want out of here better be gone in five minutes. Because I am going to destroy this place. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm going to have to get out of here anyway. Bombs away. Here, let me. <laughs> I love how she's just attacking them just while I do my own business. Uh, where is the person I need? Where is Newman? Uh, Newman! There you are! I found you! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. This <laughs> place is about to blow. You said exactly the same thing I said. What? You brought my field disruptors? Give me two seconds and I will give you a thanks like you've never seen. How 
did you get in here? How did you even know to come? Did Sixer send you? I swear, that droid's the best friend I've got. Fuel disruptors first. Thanks later. Right. Let's each take one of these and start busting cages. Free as many as you can, and I'll take charge of getting everyone safely to the base. Call me once you've found somewhere to lie low. Oh, this is gonna be a bit of a long episode. Uh, I can't be bothered to free any. Oh, I could. Um, I mean, there's one. One person free. Two person free. Um, three people free. Yeah, I might as well do it. It's an easy bonus mission. I wonder if I can do the last one, like here. Oh, uh, uh, cool. You saved my life. They were gonna kill me tomorrow. Yeah, that prison sentry should really be uh chasing after you right now, but you know. Game. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. Thank you. Is this the one we need to go through? It is. Oh no, we're gonna get crushed. I think we escaped. We did! And there's some Imperials in my way. Uh, but for now, uh, we are going to leave it there because this has been a very long episode and we're going to head to Camp Vigil in the next one. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I shall see you next time. I actually went into his eye. And a farewell to you.